We're here in Wyndham, New York, conclusion of round five of the Mountain Bike World Cup, talking with Rachel Ashton from GT Factory team, who has just taken her third victory of the season. Uh, Rachel, um, right above where I was shooting, uh, I, I, I've got it on photos, you um, came so close to, uh, to losing it all. Uh, what happened? It looks like you sort of over-rotated over that jump and then sort of fishtailed around trying to get, and you actually went off the course. Yeah, that was exactly what happened. <laughs> Just the wind, you know, it just caught me and I didn't have enough speed and just hung up and like you say, a fish tailed like through the dust and blew the turn out and like went through one of the tapes and I was like, this is it. And I, I, I didn't want to crash, so I just held on and obviously to make a mistake that big in a race run, like it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty hard to get the time back. And I just tried to get back on it and, and carry on and I couldn't believe it, I crossed the line and I point two up, so I had one and I just was like, that was that was bad. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm assuming then prior to that the run was going really well. It must it must have been. Yeah, up until that point it was good. Like the, the top section was mint. I nailed it. Like the crowd just the crowd makes it really cool here. Like they, they cheer so loud you can't fail to ride fast and it was exciting and made like quite a lot of mistakes. You know, just been messy and sketchy. But you have to ride like that here because it's so short. So it was yeah it was good. <laughs> Now, as I said, um, you, you've done four of the five World Cups this year. You won three of them, 75% winning average. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty good with numbers. <laughs> yeah, I missed the first round in South Africa, and obviously, you know, that was hard to do, but it was the right decision in terms of, you know, my recovery from my shoulders and stuff. And to be in the lead for the overall now, it's, it's pretty incredible, and it was definitely what I wanted to do. And we've got a few more World Cups left, and it's not over yet, so just keep going. <laughs> That was my next question. Two more rounds. Um, you know, um, I'm not quite sure how much of a lead you've got now, but probably maybe like 100 points or something, so or, or a little less. So, so you you feeling um, more confident that you're going to be able to hold onto that and take that take that World Cup uh, title? Yeah, I haven't thought about it much, but I think it definitely changes the approach you have to racing. You know, like I want to win the overall and and to have the jersey now. It, I would have preferred to have just got it at the last race, and then there's no pressure. You know, but. I think it's just it's just another thing to deal with, and it's kind of exciting, and and I, I just I just want to stay safe and stay on my bike. <laughs> so, about a month before the next World Cup, um, I I was talking with Tracy Hannon there, and she's talking about going to Euro Crankworx. I assume you're going to be doing some of the same sort of sort of races. Yeah, we have a week off, and then European Crankworx, and then British Nationals, and it's a pretty full month to be fair. So, let's make the most of this week and have some ice baths. <laughs> okay, well, again, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>